hello guys welcome to my youtube channel today i'll be showing you guys nigerian chin chin which is the popular method please don't forget to click on the subscribe button like and comment on all our videos first thing i'll be doing is i'll be adding my already sieved flour into my bowl i have my sieved milk flavor added to the mixed flour and then i'll be adding my granulated sugar then after that i'll be adding my nutmeg um the reason why i added my milk flavor is to get a milk taste is optional um after that i'll be adding my corn flour now what the corn flour does to your chin chin is to give it those crunchiness yeah it's optional so i decided to add my corn flour and then after this i'm gonna sieve it into the bowl for the ingredient list and measurement please check the description box below so after this i'm gonna add my margarine um this is what i have already this is my margarine um some persons can use unsalted but this is what i have available and i decide to use then after this i'm gonna knead the butter into my dry ingredient please while kneading try and knead gently to avoid spilling off still trying to knead properly so the butter can mix well very well um so after kneading I'll be cracking my eggs into a separate bowls and then and next I'll be adding my baking powder but it's advisable you mix all dry ingredients together and mix gently before adding your wet ingredient so I'll be saving my baking powder into the bowl and mix gently before adding my eggs now the reason why I cracked my egg separately is to avoid bad ones. Yeah. So I'd be adding this and next I'll be adding my liquid milk. Um I'm using my liquid milk because I wanted to have this milk flavor and very rich. Now if you don't have your liquid milk, you can as well use your powdered milk and mix with warm water. So I'll be adding my two can liquid milk into my bowl. After adding the milk, I'll be using my dough spinner this is actually the first time i'm using my mixer to mix my chin chin dough so it's actually my first time trying it so i'm gonna mix gently with the dough until it mix properly so after that i'll be using my spatula to mix gently again now if your dough is too soft all you need to do is add little flow and mix until you get your your the right consistency so you can roll so i'll be spinning again why spinning again notice was too soft so i added little flow and then i miss right here i have the right consistency i want my dough to be so i spin again just to make everything mix properly and after that I mix for a while and after that I take off and use my clean hands and transfer to my table I'll be adding little flour to the table so it my dough doesn't stick so I'm gonna transfer to my table and knead gently with my hands again with my flour on the table so it doesn't stick then I'll be using my knife, anything you have, or your pizza cutter to divide before rolling. 
So this is my knife. I'll take the quantity I want to roll and transfer the rest into a bowl. Until I'm done with the cutout before going back to get another cutout again. So I'll be rolling this to my desired size. Now the size depends on how crunchy you want your changing to be. So I want it very crunchy so I'll be slicing into smaller shapes. So you can decide to get any shape of your choice. So this is the size I want and then I'll be using my pizza cutter to slice gently. Yeah, so this works very faster for me vertically and horizontally so you can get your desired shape that you want this is what i want remember i say i want it very crunchy and that's the reason why it's very small yeah so and this is me dicing the other way around to get it yeah why doing this i already have my vegetable oil on the fire it's eating up so after that is into my desire shape all i need to do is transfer my chinchin into my vegetable oil this is my oil eating up i'll be adding my onions just to give it this onions flavor my oil is very hot I'll be transferring my chin chin into it gradually gradually adding gradually then after this I stir properly now don't be scared because it won't eat up the more it fries the more it separates yeah so after that I add the light set and then I begin to stir do so I stir this I don't leave it for too long before stirring so it doesn't get burnt. So I still just to get that very fine changing when you leave for long to definitely get burnt. Now this is almost ready and then I'll be taking it out to my sieve where I have my sieve and my paper towel to drain out the oil. Finally our crunchy yummy chin chin it's ready please do not forget to like subscribe and share all our videos thank you and i'll be seeing you on our next video bye